good morning students today let us discuss another topic which are essential part of sentence making to have good communication skill that is about voices in grammar there are two types of voices active voice and passive voice active voice sentences give stress to the subject that is a doer who did is important than what is done but in the case of passive voice what is done is important than who did it okay so when we take the meaning of the sentences sense of the sentences this is the difference in active voice doer is important significance is to the doer doer is active and in passive voice doer is passive and what is done is important okay now the passive voices are formed only with the transitive verbs transitive verbs are verbs having objects for example eat sheila eats a mango what does she eat a mango object is there renu brought a bag what does she bring she brought a bag bag is the object like that there must be an object to make a passive voice in a sentence such verbs having object are known as transitive verbs t r i n s i t a v e transitive verbs those verbs having no object is known as intransitive verbs there won't be any object to it for example sleep or smile or come c o m e or go these types of verbs i come you go she smiles in those cases we don't find any object such verbs are known as intransitive verbs in the dictionary we find indra in bracket with this verb or i small letter i or verb transitive in bracket we will find vt in the dictionary okay so it is easy to find out if you have a dictionary which are transitive and which are intransitive verbs now <coughs> i have given you a chart of uh, active voice sentences and the second column passive voice sentences correspondingly just read it and find the differences and there will you will get the rules of it how to change a simple sentence into passive how to change a continuous sentence into passive and how to change a perfect sentence into passive and uh, how to change an imperative sentence or a question into passive just to go through i shall read both columns you may follow he paints a picture he subject paints verb a picture object s plus v plus o order is followed in this statement in passive voice you see a picture is painted by him a picture object 
came first object plus is painted verb plus by plus objective form of he him so is painted is the verb pattern of passive voice which means be form plus past participle of the verb we be form plus v3 form past participle or otherwise we may call it v3 form so this is a present tense sentence he paints a picture and we follow the same tense a picture is painted so paints became is painted be form plus past participle past participle of paint okay so simple present tense statement he paints a picture became a picture is being painted by him think of it already the changes made the same pattern is followed in another sentence she paints pictures here pictures it's a plural in the former sentence a picture was a singular so a picture is painted now we have to change pictures are painted by her pictures are are painted by her so the auxiliary verb we have to be used to suit the singular and plural of the object in active voice singular and plural is decided by the number of the subject the subject is singular verb is singular If the subject is plural verb is sing plural but in the passive voice singular plural is decided by the object here a picture is painted pictures are painted so see the difference next sentence she teaches us we are taught by her in the whole rules we discussed just observe how it was followed or those rules are followed so in the active voice subject plus verb plus object order in passive voice object plus passive verb form plus by plus object form of subject uh, if it is a name you have to uh, give the name by john etc and they will construct it he said it is a future tense verb will construct passive voice it will be constructed will plus be plus constructed will be plus past participle of the verb constructed it will be constructed by them we shall do that that uh, shall be done by us the same rule follows auxiliary will or shall plus be plus past participle form of the verb in the passive voice he painted pictures again past tense verb painted how it changed pictures were painted by him pictures were painted by him pictures plural so were painted okay we follow the same rule everywhere tense is not a matter but one thing is sure if the active voice sentence is in the present passive will be in the present if the active voice in the is in the future tense passive voice will also be in the future tense if the active voice is in the past tense passive voice will be in the past tense so there is no change of tense tense must not come into our consideration when we change only number singular or plural to be careful about it but in the reporter's page it is not so according to the tense of the reporting verb we have to change the tense 
in the reported sentence. It is a little bit confusing. So in the reporter's page, we change the tense according to the tense of the reporting verb. But in the passive voice, we should not change the tense of the active voice. The same auxiliary verb, the auxiliary verb of, of the same tense must be followed. Okay. That is what we have to find out and observe from these sentences. Now, paints became, he is painted. Teachers became, are taught. Shall construct became, shall be constructed. Somebody told me, I was told, that somebody is a subject, we don't know who. So, we didn't write by somebody, we won't write by somebody. So, object plus B form plus past participle plus by plus somebody, we won't write like that. If the subject is sure and certain, we can use, or if it is very clear without um, say mentioning it, we need not use by plus subject. Okay, that is another rule. Then come to continuous tense, whether it is present, past, or future, whatever be. He is painting a picture, he is painting. A picture is being painted by him. See the first simple sentence. He paints a picture. Answer. Passive voice. A picture is painted by him. Then continuous tense. He is painting a picture. He is painting. He is being painted. So, in between the auxiliary verb of the simple tense, simple passive voice, and the past participle, we simply insert being to make it continuous. He is painted became, he is being painted. Like that. She is painting pictures. Pictures are being painted by her. They are constructing it. It is being constructed by them. They are hoisting a flag. The flags, flag was being hoisted by them. So, similarity is there. No word is changed except inserting one being in between auxiliary and past participle of the simple tense, passive. Okay, just observe and find this rule. This way is very easy. To, if you know how to change a simple sentence into passive voice, continuous is very easy. Like this, we can understand the patterns. <coughs> Then, perfect tense. He has painted this. This has been painted by him. She has prepared that. That has been prepared by her. Our government has constructed several dams. Several dams have been constructed by our government. They will have completed the work. The work will have been completed by him. So, the, the same tense, symbol active became symbol passive, continuous active became continuous passive, perfect pass active became perfect passive. Here, yeah. this is the rule that we have to follow no change of tense. Then, next is imperative and questions. In the case of perfect continuous tense, we don't use passive voice for that. It is not in fashion now, it is not in use now. Now, imperative and questions. Bring him here. Bring him here. Let him be brought here. That plus objective form of pronoun he, him, plus b plus pp, past participle or v3 form. Okay, that's the order in this case. Take it away. Let it be taken away. Help him. Let him be helped. Let us finish the lessons. Let the lessons be finished. So this is the way we have to change an active uh, imperative sentence into passive using let. But in the case of WH questions, who arrested him? Who became? By whom? By whom was he arrested? And who started the car? 
by whom was the car started? How can you carry this? How can this be carried by you? Will you help me? Will you? You have to remember the use of will and shall with the first person, second person, third person. Accordingly, you have to change this auxiliary. So, will became shall here to suit the meaning, sense of the sentence. Will you help me? Shall I be helped by you? So, these are the techniques we have to follow in making a passive voice. Okay. Then, we use by plus subject or uh, uh, objective form of the pronoun subject pronoun usually but we can omit it o m i t omit omit it avoid it when the subject is well known very clear without mentioning it or if the subject is unknown like somebody okay that is also a point to be noted so one more point to be remember here is b form plus past participle or v3 form gives passive voice but pattern but b form plus ing form present participle gives continuous tense verb pattern. Many of the students make mistakes in it. Present participle ing form itself is not a verb without b form it cannot be a verb. Then if you use b form it will become continuous verb form. Past participle itself is not a complete verb so you have to use half forms as helping Words without half forms, past participle, V3 form cannot be a finite verb. So, helping word, half forms are used with past participle to make perfect tenses. So, it's a casual reference. You may go through, learn the tenses again, uh, go through the last classes. You can follow further classes with uh, uh, subscribing this class you subscribe and press the subscription and uh, the bell okay thank you for time being